In this video, we'll be looking at how employees are entitled to time off work when they are having a baby or adopting a child. We'll be looking at paternity leave, adoption leave, paternity leave and shared parental leave. Meet Maisie and Phil. They work at the Explosive Science Cooperative. Today is the 2nd of June and Maisie has come to tell you that she is pregnant. She has been told by her midwife that her baby is due on the 14th of November. Maisie is protected from unfair treatment, discrimination or dismissal due to her pregnancy. You can read more about discrimination on the Hive website. As soon as Maisie tells you that she is pregnant, you must take steps to remove any risks within the workplace or Maisie's role which may harm Maisie or her baby. Examples include heavy lifting, carrying, sitting or standing for long periods or exposure to chemicals. Both the pregnant employee and their partner have the right to attend antenatal appointments. Maisie will receive paid time off for each appointment. Maisie's partner's Phil is entitled to attend two appointments unpaid. Employees must be eligible to take maternity pay. Check at www.gov.uk whether your employee is eligible. Maisie has the legal right to take a maximum of 52 weeks maternity leave. It is compulsory for Maisie to take two weeks leave after she has given birth, or four weeks if Maisie works in a factory. The earliest Maisie can choose to start maternity leave is 11 weeks before the due date given in her certificate issued by the midwife. Maisie can start maternity leave on the 28th of August but chooses to start maternity leave on the 5th of November. You can find out more at www.gov.uk. Babies don't like to arrive always according to plan. And Maisie has her baby early on the 30th of October. In situations like this, maternity leave starts the day after the birth. Maisie is entitled to receive 39 weeks statutory maternity pay. During the first six weeks of her maternity leave, Maisie will be paid 90% of her average earnings. For the next 33 weeks, she will receive £139.58 per week or 90% of her average earnings, whichever is lower. Tax and national insurance payments are deducted as normal. The rates set out here are the minimum your cooperative may decide to pay more and for longer. Where a child is adopted, one of the adoptive parents will have the right to take 52 weeks leave. Pay is the same level as maternity pay. Adoptive parents have the same right to attend adoption appointments. Employees like Phil here may be entitled to paternity leave and pay if their partner is having a baby or adopting a child. Partners can take one or two weeks paid leave following the birth or adoption of their child. Paternity leave must be taken within 56 days of birth. Phil's employer, Explosive Science, must pay him £139.58 or 90% of average weekly earnings, whichever is lower. In 2015, a new type of leave was introduced for parents wanting to share the care of their child during maternity or adoption leave, called shared parental leave. The 52 weeks maternity or adoption leave can be shared between both carers. Maisie could have decided to take 30 weeks maternity leave and give the remaining 22 weeks to Phil to take a shared parental leave. This isn't the only pattern possible. Maisie and Phil 
could decide to take leave at the same time or blocks of time. Shared parental leave can only start at the date of birth or adoption. Phil must tell his employer eight weeks before leave starts. Pay for shared parental leave is set at £139.58 or 90% of average earnings, whichever is the lower. Maisie is returning to work and wants to know if she can return to her job. All employees who have taken less than 26 weeks adoption, maternity, paternity or shared parental leave have the right to return to the same job. After 26 weeks, employees have the right to return to their existing job or a job on the same or better terms. Dealing with family related leave can be complicated. Take advice if you are unsure. Take a look at our other videos on the Hive website.